What's going on guys? This is my first ever mukbang with my good friend Anissa. Say hello to the people. Hey. <laughs> Alrighty then. I really just wanna be like <laughs> <laughs> But I can't do that. Can you edit that out? Nope, we're oh, keeping that okay. in on All loop. Right. Alright. Today we are doing a seafood mukbang. Um I've actually never had a seafood boil, so this will be my first time. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Okay, one thing I've noticed is, and I watch, well, I don't watch as many, but I used to watch a lot of cooking shows, mm -hmm. and the way that the seafood would look on there would be amazing, but like, growing up, I didn't really care for seafood, right? I used to go to Red Lobster, like, yeah. after Sunday, after church, something like that, mm -hmm. get some crab legs, lobster. I would eat maybe one or two pieces, you know, dip it in the butter, but like, yeah. ah, okay, I'm done here. No. Usually we get like this chicken is, fingers or something. This is, so, but I'm like. I feel like it probably wasn't seasoned enough. Cause like just butter is fine. But this has yeah. all the seasoning. Yeah, I agree. Cause again, mm -hmm. what I be seeing on TV mm -hmm. looks a lot better. Yep. So I'm like, if it's seasoned, then it's probably gonna be a lot tastier. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we shall find out. All right. Um, the name of the spot is the, is it Q? Yeah, the Q Seafood Boil. Okay. Well, she's eating here a lot. Apparently. Twice. Like okay. two days maybe, in a row. Maybe, maybe not a Two lot, days in a row. Very... I had my first hot pot last week, so. Mm, I have to also do that too. So, but, okay. Since this is what you normally get, mm -hmm. what do we have here? We have crab. We have two things of crab. Uh, there's corn, there's potatoes, there's shrimp and broccoli. And it's all in like this buttery, spicy Cajun seasoning. And yes, hot apparently. It is hot, yeah, okay. it's toasty. Well, the spice level is hot. Oh, um, I thought you meant I also, <laughs> so, I mean, it normally just comes with, what is it, lobster tail? Oh crab, yeah, there's also lobster in there too. Mm -hmm. Potatoes, corn, then I added, you know, I need at least another vegetable, which I love broccoli, so I added some broccoli. That was a good choice. And then, um, I believe I added, added sausages in there too. I'm like, mm, I feel like that kind of goes with it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. All right, so we're going to be playing a little game of truth or drink while we're chowing down. Um, but first, of course, we have to get to the food, so. You do, After, you do the honors. Oh, me do the honors? Oh, yeah. all right. I was going to say ladies first, but there's, uh, forget the ladies. There's gloves if you want them. Oh, yeah, good, I good idea. No, actually, you can use those. <laughs> okay. You know, me being a baker and all, you know, I have my own gloves that I use when I'm baking. Making desserts, mm. which we shall try at the end of this video. Oh, really? Since you're already here, awesome! I've been exciting. trying to get you to eat some ice cream you since have. forever. You have, yeah. So I've I need been, taste uh, testers. If you like I've ice been cream, hard to wrangle. please hit me up. Yes, <laughs> very. Okay. What are you gonna start with? Um, crab leg. Yeah, start with the crab. Like that's the whole point, really. So one thing I do want to say about eating seafood is if you're not eating it and you just happen to be around it, it smells. I'm sorry, but like <laughs> if someone's like me working a corporate, well, I don't really work a corporate job anymore, but when I did and like somebody would bring like seafood into the office, I'm just like. Well, yeah, that's when they like reheat it in the microwave. That's gross. But still though, I mean, even now, like this is just like. Well, yeah, it smells like seafood. Yeah. Oh, it's, okay. not the, it's not the best smell. I'm just. I mean, just that's it out fair, there. but uh, you gotta so. appreciate all the other stuff. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now you've had crab before. What do you mean? I'm asking. Oh yeah. I mean, again, as a kid, I haven't eaten any type of seafood probably for over a decade now. So it's been a while. Yeah, that's crazy. I've been reintroducing myself to fish. Okay. I'm like okay. Okay. I know, I know that I like this and that kind of what the podcast is for so we're just kind of taking a hiatus probably until fall i would say hmm. summertime i gotta be outside that's true yeah so that's fair all right now, um i would recommend like once am i you supposed get... to use my man hands and strength yes, and yes i would recommend like once you get your piece of meat uh dip it in like find a little spot to dip it in gotcha mm -hmm. okay you want to show me how to do this how to okay I feel like there's a proper way to so, like break it down, or should I just like just you just like okay. So you're scaring me. 
Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay, so there's meat right here too. There's meat like right here. Oh, okay. There's meat there. This is meat? Yeah, that oh. way, yeah. All right. It's not a lot of meat. It's not a lot of meat. There's not a lot of meat in crabs. It's, it's a lot of hard work. It really is. That's not done. Okay, obviously I don't do this. <laughs> Is it good? You like it? I think it's the seasoning that does it. Mm -hmm. You just break them at the joints. And sometimes if you're lucky, you can get like the little, you can get it all together. Oh. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I already grabbed the meat from the inside of this when I broke it. So you're gonna wanna be careful when you break these big pieces it's good to break them kind of in the middle like this, like crack them, and then like gently pry it apart because you'll get this nice big lump piece all in one. Well, let's get you a little seafood boil expert, okay? <laughs> <laughs> if I need some instructions on how to crack open a crab leg, mm -hmm. go to my friend Anissa here because mm -hmm. apparently I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -mm. You sure don't. <coughs> I feel like you need help, but I don't want to. Nope, I, I'm, I'll figure it out. Right. Listen, guys, life is about trial and error. Mm -hmm. So you, you do it in, until you get it, basically. Mm -hmm. So since this is a mukbang, do you want all like the slurping noises and? You, you, you do what you do. Okay. Yeah. I just doubled. Just no hot tua. No, we save that for off screen. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I gotta. Mm. Mm -hmm. Love me some broccoli. Did you try a, a scrimps yet? Oh yeah, I don't. I don't do shrimp at all. Oh, you don't? Yeah, that I know for a fact. That oh, I don't what like. a treat! Even as a kid, I didn't eat shrimp. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can. Shout out on, on it. On all of them. Do you need help? What are you doing? So the claw has the best um, meat. It has like the most meat. I'm trying to figure out if there's meat in here. Probably. Don't forget there's lobster too. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm I haven't tried one of these sausages yet. Have you? Nope. Potatoes. I like eating potatoes like they're apples. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Just kind of crunch into them. <laughs> okay, you're different. I've never heard of that. Look at these. Look at these potatoes. You just crunch into them like they're apples. Look. Um. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you're eating with your hands, that makes sense. Yeah. I'm literally so proud of you right now. Okay, I'm less proud. I'm done. This is too much work. Mm -mm. No, it's perfect. No, 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 that's don't be. So this is how I like to open them. Oh, okay. Do you want the rest of your claw meat? Nope, you can have it. All right. Yeah, try a potato. Did you try the broccoli? Yeah, tried the broccoli. <coughs> Very good. Mm -hmm. potato, potato, like an apple. Mm, yeah, that's mm -hmm. a potato. Mm -hmm. I like potatoes. And then you like re-dip it in there? 
Get some more of the juices. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is actually not that hot for spice level. I feel like it builds up, but like since you're so busy like digging away at the crab, it doesn't get a chance to. You know what I mean? My sinuses are going. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe I haven't had enough yet. That's what it is. Been farting around with the crabs for too long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I had one of these all to myself last week, twice. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It is a lot. Mm-hmm. I ate it in two sittings. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Going for the lobster? Lobster tail. So, they cut it in half for us, which is nice. Oh, look at that. So, yes. I can just, like, dig this out? Mm-hmm. Like, just, uh, just, like... Hot. It's still very hot. Do you need help? You. I don't need no help. Are you my mom? Yeah. <laughs> mhm. Gave birth to you myself. Bingo. <laughs> If you like seafood more, I was even gonna say you could save all this and make a, like a seafood broth. Gotcha. Nope, I'll pass. That's <clears throat> fair. Did you eat that all in one bite? Yep. Crazy for that. Do you like it? Flavor's there, again. The seafood Cajun juice, like, I feel like that really does it for everything. Mm-hmm. Like, it, everything is seasoned so well. Um, <clears throat> a little chewy, but I don't know if that's, like, what it's supposed to be. Yeah. So. Okay, I might need your help with this. I don't have enough. <laughs> I might just chew on it, honestly. <laughs> Imagine me doing this in a restaurant with people. No gloves. They didn't give me gloves. I didn't ask for gloves. I didn't want them. Like, so it get real like sloppy. Yeah. And like a seafood boy spot. Uh huh. Like I hope they got napkins just sitting on the table like in a stack. They um you know how your um table's covered in tin foil? They cover it in uh paper. So they can just easily swap it out. Mm. Okay. In between customers. See I have tin foil then under that I have plastic wrap. Oh really? Oh, yeah. That's intense. Do you always have it like that? No. Just for this specifically, because it's going to be a mess. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's, that's pretty fair. Yeah. Normally, I don't have any of this, because, you know, I'm usually working on the table, so. Mm-hmm. Not eating a seafood boil. Okay. <clears throat> You're not even going to try a shrimp? Nope. Again, I know for a fact I do not like shrimp. Oh, you're done with the gloves? What are you doing? I'm gonna one hand it. It's okay, I got this. Maybe. Ooh. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> okay, just based off of everything I've eaten so far, rating. Mm-hmm. I'll start with the cry leg. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give it a seven. Okay. Now. Yeah, why a seven? It would be higher okay. if I didn't have to put as much effort <laughs> into trying to eat the thing. That's fair, I guess. So, if it just was like already cracked for me, That's I would do right. it. I okay. would do it. So, but again, like, I think the, the Cajun juice is what really does it. Mm-hmm. So, I feel like anything that you might dip in this is just, it would just be good. Yeah. So, That's okay. Fair. Um, what are you rating it? 10 out of 10. Yeah. I'm also not as picky as you are. And I know what I'm getting myself into. I know I'm going to be working. Got to work off some of all this butter. <laughs> you know? Understandable. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go lobster next. Okay. I would probably do... Hmm. 
I mean, it was also good. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go seven also. Okay. Seven also. Um, again, a little chewy. It's not what I'm used to texture-wise. But still, in the juices, of- it, it tastes good. Yeah. The question is, would I like these items without the juice? Probably not. Yeah, I'm thinking probably not. Yeah, it's fair. So I would probably rate it like a four or five at that point. It's probably one of the situations where, again, as a kid, I would eat maybe Do you think one as a kid you piece. ate too much seafood? No. No, not at all. Not at all. Okay. Um, sausage, nine out of ten. Very good. Especially in the juice. Potatoes, mm-hmm. ten out of ten. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. Broccoli, amazing, 10 out of 10. I feel like it's just ancillary things. Corn, very good. Again, everything in the juice, very good. Mm -hmm. Mm 10s, so. Did you try the sausage? Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. All right. Have some white wine, sweet white wine. Good though. I should have gotten a straw. You want a straw? Yeah. Guys, I have literally everything you would need inside my apartment. Anything that's food, cooking related, I, well, most things. I have a straw. Hold on, let me, let me take a sip first and mm-hmm. I'll grab your straw. Oh, yeah. It's sweet? Oh, yeah, I like that. Mm. Okay. Mm-mm. The restaurant that we got this from, they have a, a uh, robot waiter. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And it comes around and it brings your food to you. It's really great. Oh, wow. Okay. That's very smart. It's super cool. From somebody that's trying to get into the restaurant industry, um, again, if you like ice cream, I need some taste that's there. So I am trying to open an ice cream business. Um, but that being said, save money on servers. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, Actually, it, now I'm thinking about it. It's like programmed to know the different tables, too. Ooh. So it goes like right up to the table that you're at. Really smart, huh? Mm-hmm. It's really cool. And it is, even says, like, enjoy your meal. It's really cute. I'm sure it has a name. No, I asked the people there if it had a name. They said no, and I really wanted to name it. Um, but I don't work there, so. Do you have to tip the robot? No, but I would. <laughs> I'm sure he works really hard. <laughs> he deserves it, honestly. I don't know what he would spend his money I was on. Saying, what, what, would you, what would you tip the robot, though? Like, money or? Bitcoin. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Mm-hmm. This wine is really good. You need to see what it is. So, I don't know. Well, I've probably had this because it was in a back. So, I've probably had this for probably two, three years at least. I don't really drink when I'm at home. Like, I'm a social drinker. So, mm-hmm. I'll just be having stuff, just waiting to open it. So, are there any spots in Buffalo you're going to try this summer? Food spots? Yeah. Like at the restaurant? Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm like trying to do that. Lined up? Yeah, I'm trying to do that with my um, my podcast mm-hmm. co-host mm-hmm. Asia. So, um, I'm not gonna say the spot, but one of the spots. It's kind of like a fast casual new spot. Is Niagara it Falls Chipotle? Boulevard. Oh, <laughs> come on now. Sorry. Right. Do you like Chipotle? Yeah, okay. I mean, I don't, I don't really eat there. Okay. But I like it. I love Chipotle. All right. Proof of drink. We got some questions here. Um, we did like just kind of throwing this out there. We pre-selected the question just because you know our hands are gonna be messy. Mm-hmm. We want to have to be shuffling through a deck. Deck gets messy. I gotta buy new cards. That's a lot of money being spent. Yeah. Anyways, okay. <clears throat> Should we go light first? <coughs> yes. <coughs> are you okay? Okay. Maybe I'll answer this first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <coughs> what Excuse snack me. do you find the most comfort in consuming? Um, if you call ice cream a snack, that would be it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, you do love ice cream. Otherwise, um, I would probably say chocolate covered peanuts or tortilla chips. And salsa. Oh, okay. So, and then I, I, I gotta get like, a savory option in there. Yeah, I gotta get multiple, multiple sauces. Sauces for salsas. Salsas, yeah. Okay, so like, like different a, flavors, okay. and then I mix them all in one bowl. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I'll have to try and that. Then I did that. Yeah. Can you see the tears in my eyes from coughing? 
Yeah. yeah. Do you need like a napkin or anything? No, it's okay. Are you gonna, okay. I feel like if I touch my face, it's gonna make it so much worse from the spice. Yeah, I mean, you really, I, I haven't, I mean, I'm hot, but that's just because my yeah, arm is hot. Yeah, So, yeah. All right, snack. Okay. Um, I would have to go with, you know those like mozzarella balls? Like the small ones? Like the little baby like, bell mm-hmm. cheese thingies? Kind of, but they're mozzarella balls. And they come in like a pack of three, and you can just like <laughs> inhale them. Is that how you eat it? <laughs> I actually took a video the other day. I was eating peas, and I, I had them on a spoon, and I just like, <laughs> and I started inhaling them. <laughs> Why? It was, it felt nice. It was satisfying to inhale the peas. <laughs> First of all, I don't, I don't like peas. Oh, oh. Yuck. Wow. You're weird. What about the peas? Don't you like like the taste? Um, yeah. I don't know. The only way I can eat peas is if it's hidden in some type of like fried rice. But mm-hmm. it has to be like really hidden. I'm talking like That's fair. a bunch of stuff in there. Hmm. Right, I can't taste it basically. Okay, well. Um, can I ask one of mine now? Sure. Okay. If you had color synth synth synthesis? What is that word? Synesthesia? Synes Synesthesia? Yes. If you had that, what color would I make you feel? First of all, <clears throat> I don't even know what that means. It's where um like you see colors of like certain objects, like the, how you make you feel like, you know, like when you were in school, like what color would your math binder be? I felt like it was blue. Okay, so math to you is blue. I felt like that was picked at random though. Well, what would science be? I don't know, purple or yellow? You're weird. I don't. So <laughs> math, math is obviously red. If you say Science so, I don't... is blue. English is green. I'm sure I'm you guys like... agree with me. I'm, yeah. I'm an Ozzy. Okay, when I picked my binders, it was, okay, first of all, green is my favorite color. Mm-hmm. So, what's going to be green is going to be my favorite subject. Hmm. Okay. That's how I picked it. Okay. So, I don't, I don't, hold on, let me close, because I don't know how I'm really going to answer this, but I'm like, I'm going to try. What color do I make you feel? Okay. <clears throat> There's one right answer, folks. Is this, does this have to be like a rainbow color? I think it can be any color. You can get a specific okay. and a specific. I'm thinking pink. Yeah, that's the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's my favorite color. Is it really? Yeah. I was just thinking bubbly and bubbles, oh. bubble gum. Okay. I'll take it. I feel like you would be the type that chew it and blow bows that pop all over your face. Probably. And then I just like slobber it back in. <laughs> I just like scrape it back into my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like if I die from like inhaling a bubble, you know, because you don't have to like blow out bubbles, you can inhale and pop it inside. Oh, true. Yeah. I haven't done I feel like if I, kids, so. I feel like if that's how I die, that's fine. Also, I'm fine with getting murdered. Side note. <laughs> Oh, okay. I think you make <laughs> you give off red vibes. Red. Yeah. How do we? What's what's that correlated to? I don't know. I think um, you're pretty confident. Red's kind of a bold color. You know, bold and brash. Okay, I like it. Yeah, I like and it. I, I feel like I've seen you wear like red shorts or red shoes or something. I, I definitely have. I've had basic every color. I thought color. red was your favorite color. The green surprised me. No, green is definitely. Definitely my favorite color. Hmm. Okay. All right. Good to know. Next question. Have you ever slid into any someone's DMs? Any techniques you want to share? <laughs> no, I, I haven't. <laughs> but I do want to share. That reminds me. Has someone slid in? Oh, I, was, I would assume people have slid into your DMs. Yeah. I got like a hey mamas. Yeah. That was it? Just hey mamas? Kind of. And then I was like, hello. And he was like, I've liked pretty much all of your Instagram pics. Dang, okay. So I'm just going to slide on in here. And I was like, okay. Hi. Did he like it all at one time? Or was it like periodically over no, no. time? It was like over like. So you'd have never noticed. No, I like... noticed. Because uh, we went to high school together. And he always liked my stuff. 
see, I don't, I don't equate a like to the person being like interested in you. That's fair, but when you slide into someone's DMs. Yeah, I mean, yeah, at that point it's obvious. But beforehand, like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know how like some people are like, they'll literally like, will like like 15 p pictures at a one time. I'm mm -hmm. just, I'm just saying you really like my pictures. I don't think these gloves are working. I feel like it's seeping, seeping mm. into my flesh. Uh oh. Yeah. Do you, do you want some of my gloves? No, it's okay, I'm just gonna own it. It's gonna get messy? Yeah, I mean, I'm already halfway there. Okay. Uh, that does remind me though, <clears throat> <clears throat> my ex-boyfriend, he had blocked me on Instagram. This is David. Oh. He blocked me on Instagram. And the next time I saw him, I was like, why did you block me on Instagram? And he was like, I don't know. And then later on that night, he unblocked me and messaged me telling me he unblocked me. And I was just like, why did you block me? Anyways, we're kind of almost back together again now. So, I mean, he kind of slid into my DMs, but you know. I think that counts. I feel like that's something. Okay. What are your thoughts on that? Kind of messy, right? Super messy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Advice for guys who may be looking to slide into a woman's DMs. Anything that they should or shouldn't say. Anything? I have no idea. I really don't. Okay. Maybe just be like, can I see your butt cheeks? Oh. Don't do that. Don't no. do that. All right. Uh, nope. Do you have any tips for somebody? Or like, when was the last time you slid into someone's DMs? Um, I'm not a DM slider. Mm. I prefer to talk Learn to people. Person. Yeah, mm -hmm. in person. Like, I'm very big in person. I've, I've um, seen it. <clears throat> yeah, I really, I, I don't. Like, I've mastered the in-person, so it's like... Plus, I feel like when you usually do, like, the DM sliding... Mm -hmm. Like, if I'm... You gotta do it at 3 in the morning. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna think. It's like, if I've already met them, then I've probably already shot my shot. Mm -hmm. So it's like, people who I maybe haven't met, I would maybe DM slide. Mm -hmm. But at that point, it's like, I don't really... I assume everyone's a catfish until I've met them, basically. <laughs> Okay. Like, that's how I look at it. It's like, if I haven't met you in person, then I don't know if you're actually real or not. That's fair. So, it's, it would be rare for me to, unless it's like a dating app, then, well, I'm still skeptical. You're not on the apps so, though, right? No. Yeah. No. So, but like, if I was on apps, like, I'm big on, or if it, maybe it was like Instagram, like, I would look at someone's page, mm -hmm. and then just kind of find something to relate to. So. What would you rate my Instagram page? Oh, I would have to look at it and get back to you on that. I don't really check it out. Sorry. Really? When I stalked you, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, that's the one thing where I don't really be on my personal Instagram. Mm. You'd be on so. like the, the channels Instagram? Yeah, I'm You'd big up to like- You'd be on the channels like, looking at- No, I'm very productive. Like if you okay. look at my, my For You page, I guess you could okay. say, for like Instagram, it's- None of the finsters and stuff? Yeah, it's basically like all food stuff. Mm. So I'm very professional, you know. That's fair. I know sometimes they do be trying to push other stuff to me. I'm like, no, this is a food channel page, <laughs> all right? I don't want to see you naked women. No party today, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't really, because even my personal, like, I rarely used to post, mm -hmm. even when I was, like, on it more often. So I would post, like, maybe, like, once every couple months. Mm -hmm. Same here. Mm -hmm. so, but yeah, I'll check yours out and I'll get back to you. Okay. I want a full review. Detailed review. Mm -hmm. All right. What you got for me? Um, <clears throat> tell us about a time you got more wasted than was advisable. Ooh, mm -hmm. that's a good one. I know. That's why I picked it. Oh, I got you. Okay. You know. <clears throat> Try to be a good hostess. <sighs> then With the advisable. mostest. Okay. First of all, again, I only drink socially, uh -huh. so it's only when I'm out with friends. Uh -huh. <clears throat> like, there's a couple of occasions where I've I've been lit. Hmm. Okay. I've never seen you like lit lit. Really? I don't think so. Hmm. I've seen yeah. you be a little silly goose, <clears throat> but like not anything too crazy and zany. I feel like you do that more with your boys. Possibly. Mm-hmm. So, but usually like. When we, we usually go out to like bars. Mm -hmm. Bars. So. You said that's so Buffalonian. <laughs> bars. Am I um, wrong? I don't know. You don't want to hear that. Yeah, bars. 
Um, Cars? Nah, but like, I don't know. I guess I haven't really, I feel like we haven't been like out at a, an extended period of time. Really? Usually when I, no, you got it. <laughs> Listen, you take care of everything else. I'm, I'm Sorry, I interrupted you. Benito. Um, yeah, I haven't really, I suffered the one time we went to the club that night. I'd probably drunk more than I'm usually. Yeah, that's that was here. the example I was gonna use for myself personally. Oh. But besides that, um, I have I wanna say last last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, last year's St. Patty's Day bar crawl, I wanna say. Um, there was a it was a um a bar crawl on Chippewa. Yeah. So if you're from Buffalo, you know that street. Mm-hmm. Lots of bars, lots of clubs. Bars. Great time. Sorry. <laughs> so, day drinking, right? Mm-hmm. Day drinking, whole time, right? <clears throat> Look at this. Do you want this? You got it. Um, so, I'm drinking during the day, mm-hmm. and then it ends around like 7. Mm-hmm. Go home, mm-hmm. eat a little something, take mm-hmm. a little nap. You go back out? Come back out. That's crazy. And that night again, continually drinking to the point where... Um, <clears throat> let's just say I had to sleep. In your car? Yeah. <laughs> like, I know, like, I typically drive, um, when I'm going out, I typically drive to save money. Um, but I know, like, when to stop myself so I can actually get home with no issues. hmm So, but also, like, I'm very, I'm an aware drunk, so I know, like, I'm not, like, I can't, dr- I, mm-hmm. I don't get why people get DUIs. Um, but I know, like, okay, I can't make it home. I'm going to just chill in my car. Like, yeah. So I was literally sleeping. Were you freezing? Because it's still cold here in Buffalo that time. No, yeah. I was good. So I you was um, throwing up. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I remember. Just oh, my God. All on the side of the car, waking up. Oh, my God. Yeah. Did you wake up still drunk? And then yep. throw up? Yeah. Yep, yep. yep. Fun. Basically, I was good enough to actually make it back. I was still. Damn. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah. I haven't heard of from drinking since like high school. I know. How is that even possible? I'm pretty good at pacing myself. Like I know when to cut it off. Like sometimes what I'll do is, uh, you know, at Essex we like to do like shots and stuff. Um, I'll just be like, can I get a water shot? And I'll just get a shot mm. of water. So I like, you know, feel like I'm participating. But like if I know I don't need that shot. I'll just get, I'll just ask for water. And then I'll like to be like, oh, no, no, no. You know? Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's what I do. Okay. And you know, get a little hydration in there, you know? That's probably what I need to do more of, just drink water in between. When we go to so, Essex, you wanna do some water shots? <laughs> you wanna do like a lineup of water shots, just like taking them back and then be like, wah! That actually crazy. be really funny. <laughs> yeah, and we're just like, you guys are crazy. And then we're like, hee hee, it's water. That'd be pretty funny, though. Oh, man, that would be funny. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I feel like the times that I throw up is the type of liquor that I drink. Mm. So, any type Are you, like, of like. mixing liquor? I don't know if that's the thing, though. I don't know if that's the thing. But, like, mm. it's it's usually like the light stuff. So, it's like a vodka or like a tequila or. Thank you. Mm hmm. Like those. Definitely vodka. If I drink enough vodka, yeah. it's a wrap. I mm-hmm. already like. Do you get bad hangovers from vodka? Um, <clears throat> I don't. I'll be honest with you. I don't really pay attention to the mm. hangover aspect. Like okay. I don't feel like I'm. I've ever been like. I've woken up. I've woken up with headaches, but I haven't woken up to the point where I'm just like, like dying. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. So. I've never woken up. Uh, well, one time, um, it was when I was much younger. I don't even think I was 21 yet. And I had two of those margarita, like the tall cans of like margarita things. Oh, okay. um, and I had two of those the night before and I woke up and I was like like dehydrated and I just felt gross and I thought it was going to be a brilliant, brilliant idea to eat some yogurt. Oh. I went to the bathroom and I, I was like, Bleh! the yogurt, because like the cultures and like it's like, yeah. yeah it bad, was Bad uh, mixture. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, and then my stepmother was like, are you pregnant? And I was like, no. God, no. Just hung over and I just stupidly ate yogurt. Like, who does that? So, yeah, yeah. I, I, I would never do yogurt. Nah. I, I learned yeah. my lesson, okay? I was, I was young. I was yeah. foolish. 
Not pregnant. That's what matters. I'm big on like having food like at home, like mm -hmm. something ready for me when I get home. Mm -hmm. So I'm big on like always be prepared type of thing where it's like I learn from past instances. Like where now if I'm going out, like I basically keep water like in my book bag. So you always bring water at the you. end of the night. You've seen me with my water bottle. Yes, you carry water literally everywhere. Yeah. I, I technically do now because it's always in my book bag, mm -hmm. but I, it's most of the time for when I'm out drinking. Mm. So, well, but yeah, get you a big ass water bottle, lug it around with you. <clears throat> I feel like everyone knows my water bottle. I don't, I used to drink like a gallon of water a day. That's a lot. Yeah. But then I was like, this might be too Peeing much. Too much. <laughs> yeah. Kept having to get up. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. So, let's do one more each. Okay. Um, 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 um. I think I asked the last one, which was the wasted one. <laughs> okay. This is a good one. How many kids is too many kids, and how many will you have? Even a fetus is too much of a child for me. <laughs> I'm so dead ass. Uh, none at all. None. I hope I'm infertile. Oh, okay. I genuinely, I hope I'm infertile. I never watch children. Maybe I could see adopting like a cool teenager, you know, but. A cool teenager? Yeah, they're practically like already an adult. Got to make sure, like, you know, they're doing okay. You know, they can do their own thing, you know, sit in the room all moody. Okay, okay. Yeah. Understandable. I mean, okay, so growing up, I always wanted three kids. Like, I was like, max three. Yeah, but you don't have to push them out. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, as time goes on. Mm -hmm. You don't even have any pets. No. Yeah. Like, that's the thing about me is, actually, I really like my freedom. Mm-hmm. That might also be a reason why I'm not in a relationship. You said it. But I just, once you start, okay, getting in a relationship, having kids, like pets, like it starts to kind of like, it's almost like. Their like, work. Yeah. yeah. It's almost, I don't, this sounds bad, but it's almost like an anchor where it's like, I can't just move in and out but of But when places. have you ever done, oh, I thought you were going to talk about moving across the country or something. Oh, no, I'm just saying like in general, like it's. Like, I can't just leave and do what I want. Like, I have to maybe... Be considerate? Yeah, like, check in. Like, hey, I'm doing this and that. And, it's not... Or if I got kids, and then yeah, I really got to plan around yeah. it. Uh, yeah. I really like just, you know, picking up, doing whatever I want. Yeah. So, you know. I mean, you can do that somebody. with a girlfriend. But you still got to be, like, considerate. Yeah. But they also have to be considerate to you, too. Yeah, yeah, I'm not thinking on that. They're in. I'm thinking about my end. Get them. <laughs> I'm glad they don't exist. <laughs> Jeez. Um, so yeah, um, as of right now, <clears throat> um, by the time I'm, I'll have possibly a kid, I'm thinking you're gonna be hitting up that, <laughs> that hospice nurse. I also, uh, I know you're just uh, not my girlfriend, uh, but do you wanna bear my children? A, a frozen sperm. Oh my god. <laughs> I was gonna just, just try it real quick. Just, it's gonna be like just dust. In, just in case. <laughs> and then put that in the will. Yeah. So as of right now, <clears throat> uh, my trajectory is maybe one, possibly two. So we'll see. What would you? You know, it'd be so funny if <laughs> if you found someone to marry whose name is A. Mario, and then you could have two children, B. Mario and C. Mario. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, or if you did have three kids, A, B, C, Mario. No, that doesn't sound good at all. That's Where did that even come from? Because your name is D. Mario. Yeah. So, <laughs> You're the fourth in line. And <laughs> <laughs> so I, I would have to go backwards. I would have to go C. Like, the first kid would have to be C. Oh, well, that's fair. Second, B. Regardless, as third. long as, you know. That's not happening. <laughs> My kids are going to be named after the color green. The different shades. Forest. Yeah. Jade. Oh, okay. Emerald. Oh, okay. Yeah. Lime. <laughs> Grass. <laughs> Hope I like my, grass. I hope my future uh, wife is okay with this. 
if what, you're what gonna you have think? a future wife, I, you know, if you have to find someone that matches your freak, <laughs> you can do like a lemon and lime, you know, like yellow is her favorite color. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. I mean, that's cute, but like. Kid's name is Citrus. You do like food. I was going off of the lemon and lime thing, but. But if you name them like if you if you have one name like Citrus, the other one could be. Umami. Because uh, you know they like the different like food taste categories. Nope. Okay. Well, you're the food person. Oh well. Oh, and you don't even know how to eat crab. I'm very specific, okay? I'm the dessert guy, yeah. dessert person. That's that's my expertise. All right, one more. What you got? Uh, someone who's never met me asks what I'm like. How would you answer? <laughs> Extremely goofy, bubbly, high energy, random noises. <laughs> 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 They'll know me when they see me. <laughs> They'll hear me probably first. <laughs> Definitely. Very, as I would say, unique. Yeah, but you say it kind of sadly. No, unique is good. I like unique. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't, I, don't I, try, I try to find people that stand out in the crowd. Fair. So. Yeah. Yeah. Good deal. Okay. Can we wash our hands now? Sure. Thanks, guy, for watching the first ever mukbang. I'm going to be doing more of these because this was fun. What if I just, like, stuck my head in that <laughs> That'd be quite the intro. If you want, I can use that as my thumbnail. I, that'd be really funny, um, but I think it'll burn. Hey, it's your face, would. not mine. I know, yeah. Anyways, guys, please, you know, like, share. Subscribe. Subscribe. Really appreciate it. I'm talking about how awesome I am in the comments. Sure. Until next time. <clears throat> Chaz, darling, Chaz. Peace. Peace.